Um, I'm, I'm a newer Christian than most of you, and I've prayed a lot, but in kind of a different way. So I'll go ahead. Uh, our Heavenly Father, I'm so grateful for everything I've learned today. Thank myself, you, I think what everybody's learned just from these few passages from the Bible that, that everyone elaborated on. So I, I thank you for that. And I thank you for all the things I learned today that I can go forward with. I thank you, Creator, and all of the, the pastors here and ministers that are talking to us for how this is going to spread around the world. I can see it. Amen. You know, how you can you can make this example to another, to another, you know, to keep going how important I'm, I'm seeing today that this work is. So creator, I thank you for that. And I thank you for how you can elaborate more to all these women of what they can do that they haven't done already. In other words, help bring them strongly into the unseen area because they are very much in the seen area, but there's so much more creator God that is happening now as our world is changing. And, and I read the Bible and how we can make this pertinent to today. How is it relevant to today? And, you know, it always gets answered because I didn't know how I could make it relative. And I got a phone call from a young man who's raising a, a single child. And there it was. This is also a way to make it relevant for today because people are co-parenting. And fathers are taking the role of mothers, sometimes raising their children. So... I pray that we can make those adjustments to help those as well. This is how exponentially I can I can see with your help, God, that this work can continue on and expand and grow. An example, the examples that we make, children watch and they learn in different ways, you know, some see, some hear, you know, and we have to be those good examples that she mentioned of being pure. And that purity is body, mind, and spirit. You know, the body maybe more when we're younger, the mind in the middle age, the spirit, we think a lot more of that, it seems, as we get older. But it's all of it together that we need to be pure and sweet. You know, our words, they need to be kind, but they mean, they also need to be sweet to the ears of the people that hear them. And, and I thank you for helping us with that because that's going to be important too. And then the mothers are home today, as you talked about, being their teachers and, and they're together. And it's not the same. Everything's changed in their lives. And, but all the answers are in the Bible. And, and we're that deep well, he said, that we can search inside and find what we need if it hasn't been obvious because of all these changes. So I pray for that today, creator God, because... You're the one that brought us together, and you're the one that gave us life, and you're the one that can guide us into the light and into the way that you created us to be. So that's, that's my prayer today, and I want to serve the, the helpers that help already. I'd like to help those helpers so I find mm -hmm. where I can, you know, through prayer that I can, I can do ongoingly. I spend a lot of time in prayer. I believe so much in the power of prayer. So. In Jesus' name, I pray today. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay.